Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falco Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Remastered, and today we've got a game between Thunderfly and Techno here on Outsider. In the top right side of the map, we have the Teal Terran player. His name is Thunderfly. Ooh, the zooms. And in the bottom left hand corner, well, top left, middle left hand corner. I don't know, man. It is the brown Terran player. His name is Techno. So Techno versus Thunderfly here today. Actually, we need to get rid of that, don't we? Too much real estate taken up by that unit panel. Too much. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep this. And everybody should be pretty happy about it. All right. So this was sent to me actually over YouTube through the messages feature, which I don't check very often. And it doesn't notify me when I have a message. So if you want to contact me, tweet at me, Falcon Paladin. Facebook message me, Falcon Paladin. Email me at falconpaladin at gmail.com. Put a comment in any of my videos. I will be much more likely to see those than what comes through the messages app. But I did see this about a week after he sent the link to it. And he's a very highly ranked Terran player in Remastered in the Brood War community. So I th I'm expecting a very good TVT here for you today. Got the Remastered shininess. Got a high level TVT. And it is Saturday. Does it get much better than this? Uh, it probably does. Probably does, because there's actually WCS Global Finals going on right now. I understand that. But uh, thanks so much for joining me anyway. Maybe there's a break in the action. And you have some time to catch some StarCraft Remastered while you're watching StarCraft 2 as well. Or maybe you don't even care about StarCraft 2. Maybe you just come here for the StarCraft Remastered and Brood War stuff that I post. In which case, that's totally fine. I don't care why you're watching my stuff. Even if you're hate watching my stuff, I'll take hate watching. That is absolutely something I am totally a fan of. Alright, so this... Uh, Techno fellow here. He needs to start building something. He's got a supply depot. He doesn't have a refinery. He doesn't have a command center. There we go. Barracks is in production here, according to that production tab in the top left, which is so nice to have. I know some Brood War purists really hate this thing, and you can turn it off, but I'm going to leave it on. It's a lot easier to cast when I can tell what's going on uh, when I'm not actively looking at a particular area. So, nothing too crazy here. The barracks is on the way for Thunderfly earlier, and he's walling off this front here on Outsider, which is very nice. Helps against vulture attacks. Not so good. I mean, against marines, they can kind of sit back there and take it down. Take down your buildings, but that's why you have marines of your own. It takes some micro. It takes some doing. But you can hold this just fine. Second, that's another supply depot on the way for Techno. And marine production has begun for a Thunderfly. I like the name Thunderfly. It just rolls off the tongue very, very nicely. Thunderfly. Yes. Got some SCV battles kind of going on in here in the middle of the map. Single Marine heading on out. Trying to see what he can see. He's out to see the brand new world. Can I follow this dude? Cannot. There's no follow option that I'm aware of. Maybe somewhere else? I don't know. Not going to worry about it right now. So, going to go ahead and hang out here with two SCVs. Is this bunker? This is an SCV Marine push. But there's a bunker at the top of this ramp for Techno. So I don't see this working well at all. Yeah, don't even just get out. I understand what you're trying to do, but that bunker ruins all your plans. Yep, and Thunderfly decides it is time to retreat from that situation. He's got two Marines and two SCVs, but not no match for a bunker, as it turns out. Bunkers are the ultimate in defense. I think I've told this story before, but I remember I was having a hard time dealing with Zealot Rushes as Terran. Uh, especially in the campaign. There's a lot of times big old groups of zealots would come try to kill you as Terran. And I remember I read a specific phrase in a strategy guide back in, boy, like 97, 98. And it said, if you're dealing with zealots as Terran, firebats and bunkers are your god. And it's just really stuck with me through the last 20 years <laughs> of playing StarCraft. In that, yep, bunkers with firebats are very amazing against zerglings and against zealots that are coming to try and attack you. Not so good against things like dragoons or tanks or vultures, but, you know, those melee heavy units that hit really hard and get right up on top of your stuff. The firebats and bunkers are just incredible. And one of the more fun animations, too, watching the flames shooting out of these little murder holes is a good time. All right, what do we got? Uh, factory here. Do both players have a factory? Yes, in fact, they do. I've seen that. Upgrading. Yep, Siege Tank for Thunderfly. Going to get that Siege Mode upgrade ready to go. Continuing to produce production facilities here. It is a starport for Techno and getting more and more Marines. So it looks like it's going to be some kind of drop play with Marines and Tanks. It should be an exciting time for both of these players. Supply 
for Thunderfly way over here on the right side. And what is this? Oh, Scouting Barracks. Scouting Barracks for Thunderfly. Both players are going mech in this TVT. Have I cast a TVT remastered before? I don't know that I have. I've done PvP. I can't remember a ZVZ either. That's okay. TVT should be a good experience here. Although I've noticed mirror matchups just have a really hard time gaining much of an audience. And I'm not sure if that's because they feel the matchup is boring or because it just doesn't automatically doesn't contain two-thirds of my viewer base's favorite race. Everybody has a favorite race, right? And TVT means the Protoss fans and the Zerg fans are like, ah, eh. <laughs> this doesn't interest me at all because it doesn't have my favorite race in it. I think a lot of that is going on. Armory, can I click the armory? Can't click the armory. So armory for upgrades right over here for the Thunderfly. Getting an engineering bay too, which I think is going to be for missile turrets. Upgrades not going to be super useful for Thunderfly. His marine count is actually fairly abysmal. Do I have a units tab? I do not. It's got two of them. Oh, right. That just speeds you up. <laughs> you doesn't do that. So tanks, marines. Techno looking pretty darn good here. A lot of marines. Got a tank. Got the siege mode done. The scouting barracks is on fire. And will it burn down if left to its own devices at this point? It's very close to that. Let's see. Is it going down? Not 395. Stuck at 395. Not going any further down. Might head home to repair, but I don't know what exactly what the purpose of that would be. And tank production continuing. Here from Thunderfly. So fun. So dang fun. Yep, upgrading those vehicles. Is Thunderfly at his armory getting three missile turrets at once? Is he really worried about drops that bad? Maybe. No, nobody makes raids. And <laughs> Brood War raids are bad. They're just tissue paper, is what they are. They can attack ground and attack air, and they can cloak. And so you're thinking, dang, they're like. They're flying Dark Templar, but no. No, they are not. If you attack them with anything, they die so quickly. However, if if there's no detection, and if they have cloak, and if there's nothing that can shoot up, they can be fantastic. All right, so players facing off here in the front a little bit. Setting up a center position here is a Thunderfly. Getting a nice shot off on this bio. Got a couple vultures here too. Vultures with that explosive damage. So good against things that are light, like these marines. Like workers. Ow, that did not feel very good at all. Yep, just a lot of tank placement here. And picking up, putting them inside this dropship. I'm going to sneak on over. The Marine's really trying to do this, but this is not going to happen. Goliath on the ground for Thunderfly 2. Just going to be tanks, man. Just going to be tanks for Thunderfly. So he drops his tanks in not siege mode. Gets rid of this SCV. Gets rid of this building missile turret, perhaps. Nope, goes into siege mode. SCV's pulled off the line. To deal with this, forcing the tanks to go into not siege mode and kite, kite, kite at these workers. See how many shots it takes to kill a worker with a tank? Just It's just not good. It's not a good thing. It's like Dragoons versus workers. Yeah, forced to lift them up. Coming to doing some drop micro here a little bit. Oh, I think the attacks are instant on siege tanks, though. You can't dodge them. You can't dodge those as it turns out. And Thunderfly successfully repels that attack. Dropship forced to go home. There's one. Siege tank in that dropship. The pilot feels very, very sad about that. So expansion taken by both of these players. That's been actually happening for quite a while right now. 44 to 42 total supply. APM for these guys hitting around 150 each. And here comes an attack from Thunderfly. Got his tanks, but the high ground tank setting here for Techno is great. Absolutely just takes out a tank. I don't think the tank even saw him necessarily. You're not totally blind to stuff on the high ground. If you're on the low ground, but I think your uh, chance to hit is 30%, or right around 33% or so. So got some Goliaths, got a couple tanks in this group from Thunderfly. Gonna get rid of the scouting barracks that Techno is done with. Yeah, Techno is done with Marines. He lost most of them in a situation that he wasn't probably too pleased about. If I had to guess, getting Vulture Speed right now is Techno. And Thunderfly continuing to attack on in here. Couple tanks! And that looks like it's about it. Honestly, the high ground tanks plus these two tanks is not bad. Oh, but losing one is Techno. I don't know. These Goliaths want to come in here. I know you want to get rid of the barrack. Okay, they're evaporated. They just died pretty much instantly. This guy's called a what? I forget what this guy's called. A Ragnosaur. Ragnosaur. I don't really don't know how this thing's viable at all. It's got these two huge claws that it drags itself around with and nothing on the back. And then like one solid eye. I don't know. I mean, 
I think the the creatures in StarCraft 2 are a little more viable when it comes to biology. But again, this is a different different galaxy. I mean, as far as I know, it could be a different solar system. Do they have faster than light travel in the StarCraft universe? I think they do. I think this is probably just another solar system rather than another galaxy. So life should be pretty similar to what we've got here. And this is just, I don't know how this lives at all. Any, any zoologists want to chime in in the comments? Sure. Let me know. Thunderfly is working on a third command center in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. There's a pretty scary vulture drop here coming in this back door, which you do have to lift into. Do you have to lift into this? It looks like you do. Yeah, because there's uh, stuff in the way. There are some minerals in the way. Getting right behind this mineral line of Thunderfly. Get out of there, Thunderfly. Run for your life. This is not the place you want to stand and fight, man. lot of dead workers here. This drop is beautiful from Techno. Got a tank set up, too. High ground assaulting this SCV line, getting rid of missile turrets. Oh, the number of kills on this tank is increasing steadily. He's got two. He's got two of them. That missile turret is firing on the dropship, which is not great news. Some tanks do manage to get up the ramp, get rid of the attacking tank. And where the heck did all my vultures go? Oh, they're back here just wrecking this mineral line. Oh, no. Thunderfly losing a lot of workers right now, which is just horrendous for him. You can't afford to lose workers, especially not in a mirror matchup. It's going to be three kills on that one, four kills on that one vulture alone. I don't have a worker's lost count here, but it's going to be pretty insane for Thunderfly. It's 65 to 46 total supply. Thunderfly is up or down rather by about 20 right now. And a bunch of that is going to be workers. It's going to be SCVs. A couple idle ones here at the natural base for Techno, which is a rough deal. Uh, just because you need, to, you need to put those guys to work as it turns out. Vulture, this vulture very smartly gets inside the minimum attack range. Of the siege tank and then almost gets out before it gets murdered. The, again, the saving grace for Thunderfly is this third base. This third base is something that Techno does not have. Is he working on one is the question. I don't see it. I don't see him working on one at all. Production tab says no command center is in production. Yeah, that's not good. I understand you killed a bunch of workers for your opponent. He's got to rebuild those. It's going to take a lot of minerals, a lot of build time, a lot of supply. That otherwise could be going to army, but Thunderfly doesn't seem to be really all that much worse for the wear. He's got his Goliaths, he's got his siege tanks, they've got upgrades, right? They do have the plus one, plus one, which is fantastic. And here we go, tank setting up that siege. Vulture trying to get rid of the siege tank. Spider Mine getting a nice hit of, oh! And then the splash from the siege tank. The range on these things is actually kind of insane. Single siege tank here for Techno, not looking good. For our brown Terran player, this natural base is in a lot of trouble. These tanks are going to have to do a lot of work to defend against this. Eight kills on him already, which is great. Two tanks on the high ground defending. A couple of Goliaths trying to get rid of these dudes. Doing all right. But, oh, the splash damage hurting SCVs here, too. SCVs pulled off the line to fight against this siege tank, which is really well positioned, actually. It is totally gone now, and as is the Goliath. So, good hold. But guess who's rolling through Thunderfly's base? Some tanks. And some more vultures. This is an insane <laughs> back and forth game right now. More SCVs dying for Thunderfly. Can Techno do this thing? I am shocked he was able to hold that initial attack. Or that last attack there, not initial, but that last attack. I wish I could tell Worker Camp, but it's not looking very healthy at all for Thunderfly. 72 to 37. Total supply right now. Vulture just pretty much setting up shop here in the main base of Thunderfly until a tank shows up. Anyways, single tank SCV is defending, and I don't know how you come back if you're Thunderfly right here. Sure, you've cleaned out the attacking group here, but again, third base has got to be the savior. There's really nothing going on here, though. You need to be making workers. You have enough money for it. Here we go. That's that's lit up now. Lit up like a Christmas tree is what it is. Tanks, checking. All right, I've been dropped on this left side <laughs> about three times already, so we're going to set up a little defender task force. Just to make sure that nobody comes over here without me knowing about it. Ah, there's that third base construction by Techno. Heading up north of his main. Got a couple vultures to defend, but guess you can come over. Ah, looks like Techno might do some drops of his own. Oh, wait. Oh, those are Techno's units. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right. Um, never mind. It's gone now. Techno was planning on another attack, but Thunderfly ready for it. Just not where I expected are there still more vultures running around? Still more vultures. Just absolutely wrecking the economy 
of Thunderfly. Still 20 supply ahead is the Brown Terran players. Third base is just about complete under construction. SCV doing work while holding minerals, which is always seems pretty difficult to me. Dude, you need to scout this. Techno needs to scout this bottom right base for Thunderfly. If he gets in there with some vultures, it is pretty much end of story. That's it. That is going to be all she wrote. SCVs here at the natural base hanging out. Two of them are idle. It could be worse. Could be much, much worse. I've seen much, much worse. 55 to 73 supply. Techno looking real good. Has he started any work from his third base yet? No, he has not. Ah, Vulture does end up scouting this base. And the high ground harassment. Man, these expansions are very vulnerable. to stuff sitting on a cliff above your mineral line and just wrecking it. It is a very aggressive map that way. Outsider, good one. Good classic map. Is that, in fact, a science uh, science facility? What are you doing with it? Probably just for upgrades. Got to do those for further vehicle upgrades. I don't think he's going to use it for anything else. I'm not sure what science vessels would be good for, unless it's Defensive Matrix, which could be great. Actually, Defensive Matrix is good in any matchup. And, ah, Goliath attacking behind this third base of Techno. He's going to try to dig down this command center. Eventually, I guess going to get it. Nope, some tanks responding. No Thunderflies tanks are here. Man, am I colorblind? I feel like I might be kind of colorblind. And trying to come up to defend this thing is Techno. Ah, there's some SCVs forced to fight. Tanks forced to fight here too. And going to be able to pull this thing off. Oh, tank gone. Trying to drop, drop some Goliaths. But that's not a great idea when there are two tanks right in the front door. Meanwhile, another battle down here at this third base. Of Thunderfly Tanks versus Goliaths. Two dudes that are pretty low on HP. Who's going to win this thing? Looks like... Oh, the Micro. Some Micro here from Techno does save his tank, which is very low on HP. Some SCVs for Thunderfly coming up to repair their hero tank. And unloading. Going into Siege Mode. Too far away. Too far away. Need to set it up like right here. That would be good. This is just not going to do anything for you, Techno. In the teeniest or tiniest of bits. Auto oh, vital SCVs here for Techno. Come on, man. Send them up. I guess I understand you're a little afraid to send them to the third base, but they can't just be hanging out here. Cannot do it. Is there a Wraith? By golly! Thunderfly made a Wraith. <laughs> I guess if your opponent, again, isn't making anything that shoots up, it's all vultures and tanks, the Wraith's going to be a pretty decent asset. As it turns out, you know what's also good is battle cruisers. If you're looking at stuff that can fly and shoot down, that would be a good answer. But you got to get a... Oh, what's the upgrade on this one? Physics lab. Physics lab. Then a starport with a control tower. And then you can start those. They're expensive, though. Oh, Thunderfly had the high ground for about half a second. And Techno cleared him off that one real quick. Yeah, the Wraith's also good at chasing away dropships. Much better anti-air. Then anti-ground, as it turns out. Burst lasers, 8 damage. Gemini missiles for air-to-air, -air, 20 damage. Uh, significantly, significantly better here. Going to mount an attack. Techno is on this bottom right-hand corner. Is he going to be able to take it out? I, I mean, I'm guessing that's what's going on. I can't actually see what's happening here. All right, so <laughs> enough of that. That was ridiculously high. Ridiculously high. Techno taking a fourth base, man. Bottom left here. Where he's setting up that command center. And it's a bit, a bit of a slow, slow portion of the game right now. There are some dropships moving out for Thunderfly. The music is getting appropriately intense. Ah, this is some of my favorite part of the Terran music. From Brood War. It's just so upbeat and bouncy and awesome and futuristic sounding. Thunderfly doesn't want to unload here because there are two tanks that'll wreck his stuff if he does. Techno is mounting an assault on Thunderfly's third, and I don't know how this gets broken. Ah, dropping the Goliaths on top of the tanks, though. And the unseached tanks as well. Oh, the third base! By Techno is a graveyard right now. SCV is falling what seemed like by the dozens. Forced to retreat. Tanks are showing up. Trying to do this thing. Vultures here too. 
And they might be able to clean this thing out. It's going to be very close. All of the tanks for Thunderfly go into Siege Mode. Plus one, plus one on this guy. But uh, plus two attack on the mech for Techno. It's still not enough. It is actually still not enough here. These tanks still wrecking stuff. SCVs fighting. Tanks on the high ground forcing a liftoff of the third base of Thunderfly. But the Wraith is here. The Wraith is vengeance. And the Wraith is going to kill you very, very slowly. Third base by Techno. I don't even... I mean, there's still a tank here, man. You can't... You can't harvest here at all. And actually, Thunderfly is not harvesting at his third base either. This game is nuts. This game is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I, I can't spell bananas on air. In song. Can't do it. Cannot do it. It turns out. Mm -hmm. Wraith still murdering stuff. Do you have any kills, Wraith? Three kills on this Captain Wraith. Well, can I turn on 3D portraits? That is something I'm missing here, huh? Let's take a look real quick. Oh, there's a filter. Do I have a filter in StarCraft 2? And animated portraits. Animated portraits. But where are they? Don't have them, you guys. Hmm, makes me sad. All right. Anyway, third base is happily running again for Thunderfly being scouted by a barracks of Techno. The same barracks he's been using for scouting the entire game, which is hilarious that it's still alive somehow. Scouting information retrieved has got to be through the roof for this dude. Ah, expanding again is Techno, taking a one, two, three, four, fifth base. Up top, right where all these dropping shenanigans have been going on for both of these players. And if nothing else, Techno is out expanding his opponent. Techno has the five bases. Thunderfly is working on his fourth. So it's not crazy ahead. It's about one base ahead. Another dropship action coming in from the Thunderfly. And here we go. Going to drop right inside the main base. Right over all the production of Techno. Tanks are here. Goliaths are here. And what is going to try to defend this thing? Techno. Tanks, Goliath popping out, dying almost immediately. Thunderfly, this might be a killing blow. If you can hold this thing, I have no idea how long this replay is. I mean, as much in dark as you all are right now. You actually probably can see more, because you, if you sneak a look at how long this video is, you'll know. Although I have been known to pad that number a little bit from time to time. Alright, anyway, Techno is slowly cleaning this thing out. Tanks, Vultures, again, the upgrades benefiting our brown Terran player quite immensely. If I had to say, what is attacking right now? Ah, oh, more tank high grounds from Techno shutting down this third base of Thunderfly. Did he kill? Oh, and he killed the fourth base of Techno too. What a huge play. He does manage to defend himself back home. He does manage to get rid of the stuff of his opponent. And really, that's, that's a twofer. That is a two for one successful situation is he floating his main command center no he built another command center techno is expanding like a boss wow it's gonna be a seventh base one two three four five no six base sixth base for him big old attack from techno into thunderflies third and this is not looking good at all for our terran thunderfly player 126 to 94 total supply losing his third base two wraiths two goliaths Upgrades on his dudes, plus three attack across the board for his mech. And, I mean, trying to come down and save this thing is Thunderfly. He's got tanks and he's got Goliaths of his own. The upgrades on this dude are not as good. Plus two. Again, the upgrade advantage is going to be big for Techno here. Tank versus tank. Vultures flying right on in, trying to kill these Goliaths, first of all. Tanks need to fire on top of enemy Goliaths. Doing it pretty darn well. Rays coming in to supply that additional... DPS is not a lot, but every little bit counts right now. 126 to 73 total supply. Techno is in the lead. Thunderfly coming down to the south. Does he have enough to... If he can win this battle, I think Thunderfly might actually be okay, but it is going so poorly for him. Losing a Goliath and a tank in the first couple seconds of that battle. This Wraith chasing Thunderfly's units all the way home. Techno is basically doubling up his opponent in supply right now. He's got a lot of reinforcements need to get up here. Tanks need to get up here. Goliath checking to make sure there's no replacement of Thunderfly's base in the bottom right for a fourth there is not stuck on two bases. Mind out of his main. Natural's not mined out because of how long it takes to mine stuff out. As it turns out, look at this. Look at these next door neighbors. I've <laughs> heard Thunderfly and Techno. They're both mining at these two 
These kind of two bases <laughs> at the top of the map, they're coexisting fairly well, although Thunderfly's SCVs are attacking this refinery of Technos, which is absolutely hilarious right now. Got a missile turret, too. Thunderfly is probably winning the situation until Technos tanks arrive, and in that case, goodbye all the SCVs in the world. Nope, unsiege, unsiege of your SCVs, help, man. No, the tanks. There is some micro. There we go. Techno bringing his SCVs into repair. This guy going to start racking up the kills. Can I select this tank? I can select the tank. By racking up the kills, I mean he's going to die. Four kills, though. Not bad. Techno does send up some reinforcements and <laughs> Thunderfly. <laughs> and Thunderfly wins this battle. Wins the battle up north. The problem is his economy is mostly garbage. He has a lot of money in the bank, though. 2,000 minerals and 300 gas at this point. And Techno is forced to abandon his fifth base entirely. But this is fourth. I think it's fourth up north. But he just still has his fifth and his sixth bases down south, which is just great. Still up 30 supply on the opponent. And all these reinforcing units for Thunderfly keep trying to come out. And get absolutely murdered. Does he have the upgrade yet? He got plus two armor. Does he really? He does have plus two armor. Whereas Techno has abandoned the armor upgrades entirely. Just forgotten. Forgotten entirely that they exist. So that's not good. That's really, in fact, mostly terrible. So working on... Okay, so working on his uh, weapons upgrades. Working on vehicle plating as Techno. Both players are upgrading to the best of their abilities. I can't believe this game. Techno push. I know it's real scary, man, but if you push into this natural and kill it, I'm liking your odds. Thunderfly is double expanding up here. You're giving him these bases for absolutely nothing. These units are holding out nothing. They're protecting nothing. They're assaulting nothing. Tanks trying to use the uh, the range. It wasn't enough. Trying to use the range of these rays to get additional spotting up here but not working out is thunderfly spotting He's spotting with a dropship okay so he is spotting with something right now i don't know what that previous spot was all about maybe there was a scan that i missed in there seems okay seems entirely possible dun, 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 dun. I mean, Thunderfly was in a situation where I don't think he could break this, but now I feel like he can. This tank count looking real scary for Thunderfly all of a sudden. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 15 tanks here compared to this one that Techno has. He's got more. Four of them back towards his natural. Does he have any more? He's not spending his money well is the problem. 1,800 minerals and 1,100 gas for Techno right now. And Thunderfly being the one, is, I've decided I'm going to be the one who's going to be aggressive here. He's moving out. He's setting up a concave. He, I mean, he's got, he's got this base. He's got this base. He could take another one up here too if he wanted. And Techno trying to push on this with Goliaths and tanks of his own. There's a scan, but only three tanks remaining. The Vultures from Thunderfly sneaking right out up in here trying to finish off these tanks. This tank count is definitely favoring Thunderfly right now. Is Thunderfly making a comeback, ladies and gentlemen? He very well could be. It is a slow push for Thunderfly if he's going to do it, but a push indeed. A push seems entirely, entirely possible. Slowly sieging forward, slowly making more tanks, more vultures. Techno starting to spend his money a little bit better, but where are his units? He was doing so well. With production up through, I mean, up through the last five minutes, I would say Techno expanding again. Good golly, Miss Molly. It's going to be a seventh. He did lose number four, which is not ideal, but he kept his fifth and his sixth and his seventh. And this is an eighth. Is that an eighth? He's got an eighth too, you guys. Eight bases for Techno just by sheer macro alone. I feel like he's going to go ahead and kind of starve Thunderfly out. Yes, Thunderfly has this base. He's got his new third up top he's happily mining from, which is a bully for him. But he's getting killed in income. Do I have an income tab? I really don't. Bank. Bank is good enough. I'm not going to complain about having bank. There's my super zoom. Super zoom shows what the uh, what the battle lines are right now. Thunderfly's natural is completely mined out. And really, there aren't any tanks here 
for Techno at all. I think if uh, Thunderfly A moved his tanks through here, scanned for spider mines, killed those first, obviously, brought some Goliaths for these raids, I think it'd be okay. But he's just not doing it. I really don't know why. Single dropship coming on down, trying to do something here. And Goliath trying to get rid of the dropship. Does get the dropship. Does end up killing it here. But a tank gets out first for Thunderfly. Going to siege mode. Try to shut this thing down. A couple Goliaths joining the party too. So this seventh base of Techno is completely under fire. What will save it? SCVs are not going to save it, dude. Why are you bringing all your SCVs down here? No, this is game throwing. <laughs> This tank has 12 kills. And now 13. 13 kills on a single siege tank. And suddenly Techno's worker supply can't be very good. He just absolutely ran those dudes to their deaths. Dropping Goliaths and tanks inside Thunderfly's base, though. Is Techno trying to make up for it. Where is this? Why is this tank firing on a supply depot? Dude, help! Help, I guess he's trying to supply block Thunderfly. Good luck, man. It's going to take you a long time with a single, single tank to do that. Goliath from Techno trying to save this sixth base of his, but no. Nope. Not going to happen. Or seventh base, rather. Numbering bases is really hard, you guys. It's really super mega hard. I mean, Thunderfly might as well take this base. I don't see why he's not in all actuality. He's got the money for it. Does he still have vital SCBs? It is natural. I don't think he... Well, these guys are long-distance mining, so basically... He basically has those idle SCBs. Is this still up here? By golly, this is still up here. Techno's still going after the supply of Thunderfly, but Thunderfly finally gets tired of it. Kills it with some Goliaths and some tanks here. The long-distance mining for Thunderfly is still happening. Uh, even though Techno has taken back the 7th base location... With a million tanks and Goliaths of his own. Thunderfly's SCV is running for their lives. This, oh boy, that's not good. That is not good. Is that a Thunderfly command center? It is a Thunderfly command center. These Charon boosted Goliaths going to have a great time chasing this thing down. Yeah, two of them. That's one of my favorite animations in Brood War is just the clouds coming off the Charon booster upgrades for Goliaths. Boop, 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 boop. Thunderfly deciding it's time to move. It is time to move, pushing across the map. A lot of spider mines from Techno up here, but just getting bypassed entirely by Thunderfly's army. And here we go. Oh, that scrolling is still problematic. If I just very careful with it, Thunderfly setting up a million siege tanks at this natural base location. Techno is still up 120 to 81 supply. Where is his army? I guess high ground here inside the main base. The natural is going to die, which is not really a priority target for Thunderfly right now. you got to find active mining bases. Because bases that are dead aren't really doing Thunderfly much good, as it turns out. Yes, refineries still return a small amount of gas, even after they're technically expired. Which is something that was not carried over. Ah, Techno is going after Thunderfly's means of production here, too. Is this going to turn into a base race? After all this time, is this going to be a base race between these two players? And I just have to feel like Techno's got this thing. Sure, Thunderfly is going to go ahead and try to get inside this main base. Oh, bad pathing on the tanks, though. High ground tanks from Techno, and let the volleys begin. No, Thunderfly got out of there. Got out of there real, real fast. Tanks getting rid of factories for Thunderfly. Gonna be real hard for him to replace this army if he needs to do it, and Thunderfly just has this one mining base right now that is oversaturated. A lot of these SCVs just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing around from place to place to place and waiting. Actually, oh, there's the long distance mine, I guess, implies. That were oversaturated. Okay, so good, good. Thunderfly did find this 8th base of Techno, killing a lot of the workers. This is the kind of damage you need to be doing, Thunderfly. Techno coming down with his own tanks, just straight up non-siege mode, attacking into these dudes, but getting severely outnumbered. Here, too. Upgrade. Yeah, that plus 1 armor, not as good as the plus 2 armor. That Thunderfly is a spouting right now, and he wins that handily. 97 to 62 total supply. Thunderfly's main base is, unfortunately, largely gone right now. Uh, tank having a great time getting rid of stuff. Single tank of Thunderfly trying to come up and save this thing. Oh, he does. He does end up saving it here. What's in this dropship? Is there a vulture in this dropship? Or I guess all of these dropships. What is in here? Thunderfly running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Do -do -do -do. Trying to see, are there any bases I can kill? Yeah, Techno's mining for another base here. It's just superior macro 
for Techno, I think is going to win him this game. I don't know that his engagements have been that good. I don't know that his ability to spend his money has been that great, but just the fact that he's had more mining bases consistently than Thunderfly is a pretty big deal. Uh, yeah, this ninth base of Techno is dead, though. Thanks for playing. Absolutely toast. Toast, I say. Yeah. Thunderfly wrecking this pretty hard. As it turns out, a couple of vultures trying to rectify this and actually do fairly well for themselves considering they are vultures. Goliaths, kind of better at this game, I'd say. And <laughs> did that SCV get that kill? Do you have a kill? He does. This SCV has killed a siege tank. He is a winner. Oop, spider mine getting rid of a Goliath there up north. I cannot believe this game is still going on. How is this happening? There's 71 to 61 total supply somehow. Techno's up, but only by 10. We'll make that 9. Making it 9. Pushing up towards this natural that Thunderfly used to have. I mean, it's technically here, but again, it's mined out. Pushing into the main Thunderfly. Where's your army? Is that it for Thunderfly? He's got two tanks down south. He's got a couple tanks here up north, but... It is not looking good at all. Thunderfly still, for all the supply depots he's lost, he's not supply blocked. At all. Vulture is trying to come out of these factories, but they're just dying immediately. Tanks here, too, having a hard time with that. Taking major tank fire from a Techno. Armory going to die. Uh, again, I'm not sure how much that entirely matters. Is Thunderfly continuing to get upgrades? Not really at this point in time. This tank has a lot of good kills. He's got four, but he's dead. He is dead now. 67 to 44 total supply. Techno's up. He's been up through most of this game. He just can't really seem to seal the deal. As they say in Strong Bad Emails. I believe that's where that particular quote comes from. Holy shamoly. Vulture picking off. What is this that's being built? Is that a factory? No, an academy. Why an academy? For scan, I guess? Does he not have Comsat? He doesn't have Comsat on anything. Dude, Thunderfly, lift off your base. Put it right here. I guess this is only gas, though, isn't it? Can you can you harvest from this area? I feel like you could. Also, he's got a command center right here. Dude, Thunderfly, harvest from this location. I have to imagine at this point, both players are pretty much just exhausted. APM, still 150 for Thunderfly. He's still playing hard, though. But it's just starting... His decision-making is starting to lag a little bit. Or maybe it's just his complete lack of production facilities. He's got two factories, which he is building off. Okay, he's got four factories. I'm a liar. Five factories? Hmm. Maybe Thunderfly is doing better than I thought, you guys. Maybe he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven factories for Techno. He's building an SCV right now. Of course, he is pretty mineral starved, as it turns out. Sitting on 100 minerals, which means he's spending his money quite expertly. Quite expertly spending his monies this game. I just, I don't know. It's still going on. As it turns out, um, Thunderfly does get rid of Techno's hold on this high ground, which pretty much has no strategic value at all. But that's all right. <laughs> it's just fine. Do I need to speed this up? Well, there's our academy creation that Thunderfly's been working on for the last little while. There are just little bits of spider mines everywhere for Techno. SCVs don't trigger them. Floating units that don't actually hit the ground. Like probes and drones and SCVs don't trigger spider mines at all. Where is... Okay, another tank for Thunderfly is gone. 57 to 55 total supply. Is Thunderfly going to win this thing? Is that what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen? I got to tell you, I don't know. I don't know. This gas income is real nice for Techno. He has about 3,000 gas banked up. Tank versus tank battle here at this 8th base. And Techno wins it fairly handily. Oh, just kidding. Oh, now he's won it. Now he's won it. That tank did not die. Just hit inside that dropship. Which is hilarious. Thunderfly makes the first science vessel, vessel of the game. Which is kind of entertaining. Right about now... Vulture's picking off that tank of Technos down here in the south. Then dying to vul dying to vultures of Technos. Dude. Kill it. Kill it. It's killing your commsat station. There we go. That's more like it. From Technos <laughs> Vultures. 
Oh, and hey, look. Thunderfly is harvesting from this base on the left side. This is insanity. This is absolutely crazy. Techno, are you done? How are you possibly done right now? I guess he's only mining from one base, as technically Thunderfly is. But this is more minerals, I think. More mineral patches. There are five here for this base that Techno's using. And Thunderfly has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Count them. Eight. Is Thunderfly going to come back? I just, I don't know. I don't know. He's continuing to assault with these vultures against tanks. Dude, get in that range. There we go. Inside the minimum rage. Are you not attacking because you're inside the minimum rage? What is going on? There are the spider mines. Boop, boop. Tank almost dead. Not quite. Techno finally has some attacking units here at his one mining base. Which he owns. 64 to 52 total supply. Techno is up. But I've been saying that the entire game, and Techno can't finish it off. <laughs> oh no, our science vessel died. To Wraith. How embarrassing. And this Wraith having a great time. Pew, pew, pew. From his sky castle. just can't even I can't even comment in this game anymore you guys it's too dumb it is too dumb what is happening Thunderfly being allowed to kind of get back into this thing on some level tanks vultures nobody wants to do this nobody wants to finish this Thunderfly is taking the lead 66 to 60 total supply Thunderfly can he do this or are you gonna throw it away well he kind of just threw it away he ran all of his vultures in to tank fire which is a good way to lose it <laughs> Gotta bring your tanks with your vultures. I guess we're at the, what, 40 plus minute mark of this game. And when that happens, sometimes decision making is not that good. And sometimes micro is not that good. Thunderfly making his first major assault into the main base of Techno. So that's pretty darn exciting. Tanks coming out of factory is getting instantly murdered. Vultures trying to respond instantly murdered. Tanks trying to respond less instantly murdered. Techno's tanks are going to be pretty much better at this. Although you'll notice not winning as easily as you would expect because of that high ground advantage that Thunderfly is still enjoying here. <laughs> oh, finally lost that tank. Production tab, more tanks from Thunderfly, getting vehicle plating as Techno and more tanks of his own. This is just the scrappiest of all scrappiness. Techno's taken another base. Ladies and gentlemen. Yet another base. Thunderfly's got siege tanks inside the main base of Techno, but responding tanks and vultures should be enough to handle this. It's like both players are just kind of tickling each other, right? They do some damage. They catch some buildings on fire. Actually, is Thunderfly out, mined out? Thunderfly is mined out. Okay. Okay. Techno, this is your moment, dude. This is a, fi this is a final push by Thunder Fury. He's bringing his SCVs. He's got a Goliath <laughs> and a Vulture and a tank. Stop me if you've heard this one. He, this, is, this is his final push, I think. Why is he making us a... Why on earth is Thunderfly making a supply depot? I don't understand. It's very odd. Very odd indeed, but somehow his push into the main base has been way too effective from what it should be. Techno's army is pretty much out here in the middle of the map. they got to go back and deal with this. If they can kill this, Thunderfly's resources are dwindling quickly, and he just doesn't have anything coming in right now. Don't lose these factories. Don't lose these factories. Where did you... Where are these vultures going, Techno? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Thunderfly, oh, Thunderfly, one of Thunderfly's remaining tanks, and by one of, I think that might be his last one. No, he's got one up here in the top. I think he just made it, overwhelming the vultures of Thunderfly, lowering that supply 54 to 50, 38. Total supply here. This barracks of Thunderfly is actively on fire now. It is burning, and it will burn down. Getting rid of these remaining buildings. This academy gonna die. This supply depot gonna die. 
of Thunderflies. And could this be it? Could we be witnessing the fall of an empire? Thunderflies base is under direct assault here. Some vultures coming in, trying to trying to defend for Thunder Fury. A couple tanks at the same time. I just we're not really in a cohesive ball right here, Techno. Your vultures are attacking supply depots. Your tanks are doing absolutely nothing. Thunderfly, this group is still doing stuff in the main base of Techno. How is this even happening? Dude, these tanks have got to be doing things. They have to be doing things. Why are they not doing things? Also, Techno has stopped building stuff, which is problematic. He's got supply. He's got resources. Oh, wait. There we go. Three tanks at a time should be useful. Should be useful. We are scrapping down to the final moments here. Of the game. SCVs going after... This siege tank of Techno is inside the main base of Techno. And there's just so much armor on this tank. It's very hard to kill if you are SCVs. And that might be it. That might be the final stand of Thunderfly. He's down to 17 supply. Techno has 59. He's got this army that's doing absolutely nothing. I guess he's microing down here in his own main base. This is the, uh, this is the final thing for, Thunder Fu Fury, for Thunderfly. It's not Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. Definitely not that. No, he's got his own tank. <laughs> dun 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 da da That is it. That is your bugle, Thunderfly. That is you heading down to the south. He's trying to establish a new base of his own with his remaining no SCVs. Does he have he's got two. He's two SCVs. Three SCVs. Can Techno find it and kill it before it is too late? Techno's APM is sitting at 100. Come on, man. You're doing 100 APM. You got this thing. What is even attacking right now? Oh, I see. Techno's trying to kill this obsolete stuff of Thunderflies. Look, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate what you're trying to do here. But, man, don't kill this. Kill the one remaining base of your opponent. That is the smart money here. I mean, killing command centers is nice. It's a nice little feather in your cap. Boom. Ba boom, 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 boom. Ba boom, boom. That's the sound. That is the sound being made. Have we found this yet? No. Techno, you don't know about this base, do you? You really don't. You gotta be scouting. That's why you have to be scouting. Ah! Thunderfly's got a vulture in here murdering all of the workers of Techno. Come on, Wraith. You got this thing. Oh, Wraith wins. Wraith wins again because it can shoot down and Vulture cannot shoot up. Surprising. How many matchups in StarCraft come down to that very thing? Can you shoot down or up? Can your opponent shoot down or up? Depending on your answers, that is your answer. Wraith going after these factories, running away as Techno... He's just trying to kill the buildings of Thunderfly, which, I mean, that's that's the goal. If you kill all the buildings of your opponent, you win. No matter how big their army is, if their buildings are out, you're a winner. Though, how many times does that happen? I guess outside of base races, right? Base races, fairly frequent. All right, Thunderfly is lifting all of his stuff off, trying to fly them out to places of safety. Raids chasing them down. Yeah, that one's directly on fire, which is real bad. This factory is still alive. Techno, find this base and end it. Find this base. Oh, vultures. Vultures coming this way. Vultures, there it is. Go, go, go. Get right on top of these things. Oh, no. Some Goliaths showed up, too. Oh. <laughs> I feel like they had that. Except, except for the presence of these vultures. I cannot even do this game anymore. What is happening? Techno, 48 supply. Where is this 48 supply? It's going to be these tanks, going to be this wraith, going to be a vulture, going to be... I mean, does he have workers? He's got some workers down here, some long-distance mining gas. Like, super crazily. What are you even doing? Are you patrolling? What the heck? Are these guys patrolling? <laughs> I don't know what Techno is doing. All right, Techno's setting up for one final siege. 
of Thunderfly's stuff. Got tanks. It rages where they're not getting hit by tank. They're getting hit by tank fire. Dang it, Techno, why? Why, Techno? Why do you keep losing stuff that is vital to your continued survival? Honestly, just bring the Wraith in. There's nothing here that can shoot up. Man, the money situation is very dire for both of these players. Buildings for Thunderfly are falling by the thousands. Remaining factories dying. Wraith knocking down one of these tanks for Thunderfly. I can't see your health bar, tank. Oh, you're almost dead. Almost dead. And there it is. Alright, Thunderfly. This is your moment. This is your moment to tap out. You're down 49 to 17 supply. You don't have an answer for this single Wraith. That's going to wreck all of your stuff. 14 available supply for Thunder Fury. And that's it. This is the most epic game I've ever played. Says Techno. I assume it's Techno that sent this in because he's winning. I'm tired, says Thunderfly. <laughs> I bet you're tired. How long has this thing been? I lost, it looks like. Thank you, says Techno. For a great game. I think is what he's trying to say here. Oh, why? Says Thunderfly. Oh, these guys are so nice to each other. SCVs trying to run for their lives. Nope, not going to happen. This is amazing, says Techno. This is the most epic game I have ever played. I was hardcore SC2, says Techno. But Brood War is so much better. Oh, Techno loves the Brood War. He's a convert. It's a convert to the Brood War. <laughs> Thank you for not switching to Battle Cruiser, says Techno. Tank versus Tank was so good. It was very fun. It was very fun. All right, we got to wrap this thing up. It is time to go. I know you guys are having a nice conversation and all, but. I didn't have the gas to make the switch. That's pretty true. I'd argue that is pretty darn generally true. All right, this conversation is continuing forever and ever. Amen. All right, so we're going to wrap this thing up. I did not expect that to go that long. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming to you with yet another StarCraft Remastered upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw today. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and a Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.